Okay, okay, okay. We get it. Deflate is the best AI agent for coding out there. The hype is unmatched and everyone says there's nothing quite like it out there. But is this really the case? Bro, 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 please can I use your credit card for a replit agent? <laughs> no, not this time, bro. Every time a new AI tool comes out, you ask me for my money. And what do you do with it? Waste it on stupid landing pages that you could have easily built yourself for free. First of all, they're not stupid. And secondly, you haven't seen this. You haven't seen the videos. Trust me, this time's different. <sighs> do we at least have a free tier? No, that's why I need your help. It's just $25 a month. That's it. Okay, fine. Here you go. I have a meeting, but use it wisely. Yes, yes. All right. The plan is on. Now let's just quickly add these details and get this going. So what should we build? Let's try doing something around accountability. So for the past few weeks within our office, we've been trying this accountability thing within our team. So we set weekly goals, check in daily, track tasks, and we fine each other $12 for missing a single task. And right now we're doing this on WhatsApp. It works for chats, setting goals, and general banter, but for tracking, it's a complete mess. Currently, I've lost count of how many times these guys have rugged me. So we built a basic app with V0 and deployed it on Vercel. Take a look. It looks really nice, works great, but it has a small issue. As V0 and Vercel are both front-end heavy, they lack back-end and database support. And that's where we think that using Replit Agent can help us out. With front-end, back-end, database, and APIs, everything being taken care of, this should take the app to the next level. So let's get started. We're on Replit, and according to this, we just need to describe what we need and it'll take care of everything itself. Now, one thing you need to remember when working with AI for coding is it's only as smart as your prompt. So clearly outline the UI features and the logic that you want. Actually, why don't you just watch how we do it? So I have an idea, a way for people to keep themselves accountable. So let's say we're a group of three folks and we're in a WhatsApp group and setting weekly goals like this, all right? So guy one is gym seven times a week, uh, read seven times a week, Insta under 45 minutes, seven times a week. Now let's talk about guy number two. Uh, gym five times a week, read two times a week, and Instagram under five minutes a week. And guy number three, uh, run seven times a week, code seven times a week, and Insta under 45 minutes every day. We're gonna make it in such a way that the goal setting happens on Monday and each miss will cost us $12, okay? Now we wanna make a simple flow. So each Monday we put in our goals, those goals convert into a table for putting checklists and each day closes at 3 a.m. And after that, you can't check in, okay? So that is saved. And the final is like the person who misses has to take the pool for the two other folks, which is $6 each. And maybe we can also have a leaderboard of sorts. I think that could do. So let's see if this works. One thing we love about Replit is this feature called Improve Prompt. Just click this button and it helps you refine your input before starting the build. So let's see how much better our prompt actually gets. All right, that's pretty good actually. So now we click Start Building and let's see. All right, <laughs> let's wait for some magic to happen. Stay tuned everyone. thousand years later. So unfortunately, I don't think this is working right now. So we'll give it a few more minutes and let's see if anything happens. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So maybe the accounting app needs to be simplified or the idea might be a little too complex for this. So now it's time to try something simpler. Uh, what do we do? What about a playlist generator based on your mood? I think that would be good. All right. Okay, this should work, hopefully. Two thousand years later. <laughs> this isn't working either. So sorry everyone, I don't think Replit is being really good with us. And now all I'm thinking about is my manager telling me to use it wisely. But not to worry, we at Builder Central are not going to leave you hanging. We never do. So here are three other, let's say, better tools that you can try instead to do the exact same thing within minutes and all without writing a single line of code. So the first alternative that we can suggest is full stack AI app builders, such as Bolt and Lovable. So first, let's talk about Bolt. So this is a no-code platform that makes app development ridiculously easy. No manual thinking, fixing bugs, no deployment issues. Just explain what you need and it's done. 
And we've actually made a video on Bolt that blew up recently, so check it out by clicking the i button. So once you check out that video, you should be good with anything related to Bolt for making any of your digital applications. And today we've got a new tool which we're trying out, which is called Lovable. So we can use this, put our prompt here, and see it in action right now. Okay, so Lovable is generating the app. <laughs> Yo, see, it works, it works. So now with more brainstorming feedback and more prompts, we could make a proper application out of this. So, Bolt and Lovable are fast, intuitive, and perfect for quick builds, especially if you're looking to get started without much hassle. So, do check them out. Next, we have some AI-powered IDs like Windsurf, Cursor, and Zed. These tools are perfect for developers or even anyone somewhat familiar with any IDE who wants to code but needs AI to do things from end to end just to make the process 10 times faster. While it's not as simple as Bolt or Lovable, it's incredibly powerful. So you can chat side by side, let AI write code, run terminal commands, make changes, debug, and do everything you need to make an app. In addition to this, you can also generate reusable components and fix bugs faster with the guidance from AI. We actually have used one of them, which is Cursor, and made a tutorial about it using it alongside Claude and V0. Again, click on the i button and you'll be able to check that video out. Easily one of the highest value per word videos that we've ever made. Of course, here at Builder Central, we can't forget the classics. We have to talk about Bubble, Zoho, Glide, Flutterflow, and many, many more. These no-code platforms have stood the test of time. They allow you to build anything and everything with simple drag and drop, custom code injections, API support, plugins, and whatnot. And now, with AI enhancements like Zoho's Zia, you can build scalable apps faster than ever with just natural language prompt. Take a look. So for now, let's just ask it to make a task tracker for weekly goals, and hopefully it'll do it in seconds. This is like the closest thing that we have to magic. So whether it's internal tools or utilities, these tools have got you covered. So now let's talk for a moment and really understand what happened with Replit Agent. For sure, Replit has huge potential. We saw the videos and hype around it, but sadly it didn't work for us. And so there are definitely areas where it can improve. Performance and reliability. I think more visual feedback is needed. For example, take Windsurf. It tells you what's happening and what you should do next. It should also have a preview feature like V0 and Claude and build alongside rather than waiting for everything to complete and then show how it looks. The next thing I want to talk about is improved user involvement. Replit could really benefit from actively incorporating user feedback to refine prompts and improve debugging processes. Providing step-by-step -step guidance and integrating with specialized tools that excel in key areas would enhance the overall user experience and effectiveness. So all in all, we're rooting for you, Replit. When you succeed, the entire developer community benefits as well. Whether it's no code with Bolt, AI-powered coding with Windsurf, or the class like Bubble. There's a tool for everyone. Remember, no tool is perfect. It's all about finding the right fit for your needs and jumping in with both feet. Make sure you subscribe to Builder Central for more smart building insights.